Will there ever be a brand new Pokemon Ranger game? So if you don't know what Pokemon Ranger is, it was basically a spin-off series of the mainline Pokemon games. So it was like a side game, and there were three games. One in 2006, 2008, and 2010. So it's been 14 years about since we've seen a Pokemon Ranger game. And will we ever see another Pokemon Ranger game? I have a lot of things to talk about during this video, about the possibility of us getting one, why we haven't had one in so many years, and yeah, everything about that. All right, so the first Pokemon Ranger game was released in 2006. The second Ranger game called Shadows of Almia was released in 2008. And the third game in this series guardian signs was released in 2010 all of these were released on the nintendo ds just the regular ds not the 3ds not the game boy just the ds so this series heavily relied on the touch screen of the ds with the use of the stylus which if you don't remember the ds had the stylus which is you know just so sick i love the ds the ds was an amazing console and the modern nintendo console the nintendo switch is a touch screen but the difference between the Switch and the DS touchscreen is no games really use the touchscreen on the Switch. There, there are like a select few games that actually rely on the touchscreen for the Switch because most games on the Switch need to be created to work on the TV when you're using the docked mode or in handheld mode. So many game companies don't care about touchscreen. There's really no use for it in modern day games. So that's one reason why I think we do not have one on the Switch, is just solely because of the touchscreen issue. But if we ever had a Pokemon Ranger game in the future, I'm sure that they could figure out a way to make the game, you know, the same, the same kind of gameplay, the same storyline, and somehow do something to where you don't need the touchscreen, but you could still have the same type of feature in a way maybe like a combination of buttons you have to press instead of using the like circling your screen and everything i'm not a game developer so i don't really know exactly how they would do that but i'm sure there's a way to to get around the touch screen part of pokemon ranger which is weird to say because i know that these games rely heavily like heavily heavily on the touch screen but sometimes you got to change things up a bit for modern day game something cool about the ranger stuff is that actually in Ruby and Sapphire, there's a random NPC that you can battle that is a Pokemon Ranger. So that's kind of like the first time we've ever seen the Pokemon Ranger within a, any Pokemon game. It doesn't really have anything to do with the storyline. It's just kind of like a cool random little fact that, you know, it was in one of the old Pokemon games. And the first ever Ranger game was actually supposed to be called Pokemon Ranger Road to Diamond and Pearl. So maybe there was supposed to be some sort of connection between the spinoff and the mainline game. That would have been pretty cool, but I think the games are perfect as they are. I think they were perfect for their time. They were perfect for the hardware at the time. It, they were great games. And these games still have a very large following behind them, honestly. Many people love the games when they were younger and they still would love a modern day version. A lot of people still buy them to play them if they've never you know, played them before. Some people still replay them if they have beat them in the past. But because they heavily relied on touchscreen, I'm really surprised we didn't get a brand new Ranger game for the Wii U. That would have been a good way to kind of transition it from a handheld game series to a console, because the Wii U, had the gamepad thing, which was touchscreen, and it had a stylus, so it would have been perfect for a brand new Ranger game. Although, they did allow you to get the Pokemon Ranger game with the virtual console on the Wii U, so that that was great. So, like, you, you could. They had that idea, but I'm just surprised that they didn't bring out a brand new title, like a brand new Pokemon Ranger game or a fourth installation to the Ranger series as a whole. That probably would have been pretty good. But as we all know, the Wii U was not the biggest success. So maybe that's why maybe they didn't really want to kill a good spin-off series because they didn't think it would get as many sales just because the Wii U only had about, I believe, like 14 million total units sold, which is still a lot. But compared to every other Nintendo console out there, that's like nothing. Like the Switch, I think, is well over maybe 200 million i might be i don't know it's, it's over, well over 100 million for sure the ds sold well over 100 million the wii u just honestly was not a great seller but but now that's great because the wii u is kind of a gem it's it's an awesome console and it's getting the love it deserved i think it's very likely that the pokemon ranger games were created with the intent of getting more sales for the nintendo ds because it since it heavily relied on the touchscreen and the ds the whole gimmick for the ds was the touchscreen 
how you can touch anything on the bottom is a full-on touch screen so it was such a smart business move from the pokemon company and nintendo to release a pokemon game that relied on the touch screen because pokemon is the biggest franchise out there it's been it's always been a huge franchise, but I'm pretty sure it's like literally the biggest franchise of all time. So for them to create a game that solely relies on the biggest gimmick of the DS is amazing. Even though I know that the mainline Pokemon games can were only released on the DS, like they can only be released on Nintendo hardware. I'm just saying that this was a great way for them to add a fun spin-off game to sell many more DS consoles, which would then lead to people buying more DS games because after they beat the game, they'll be like, this was a fun, fun game. I want more games to play on the DS. It was a great idea. And the sales weren't terrible. Spinoff games typically do not sell very well, which I'm going to get to that point in a little bit very shortly. But Pokemon Ranger, the first one sold 2.9 million units. The second one, Shadows of Omiya, sold about 2.3 million units, and the third installation, Guardian Signs, only sold about 1.5 million. So with every single release, there was a pretty significant drop-off in sales, with the third one being the least sold, which I guess you could probably blame that on the fan base of at the time probably just growing up growing out of the series which is unfortunate but i mean as far as a spinoff goes these numbers are still pretty good and if they were to be released on the wii u or like if they had a fourth installation on the wii u it probably would have sold i would say sub 500,000 sales because since the wii u only had about 14 million units sold that instantly drops the amount of possible sales for a new game, if that makes any sense. So just because the DS had so many units out there, the, the chances of them getting more sales for a game is, was way, way higher. And one of the reasons, and definitely one of the main reasons why there has not been a new Ranger game in about 14 years is just because the spinoff games just don't sell as well as the mainline games. The mainline Pokemon games sell like crazy. They get well over 10 million units sold some even probably breaching 30 million units they they're hot sellers right many people just unfortunately don't care about spin-offs maybe some people don't have enough money to buy the mainland games and the spin-off games or they just don't have time to keep up with all the releases and they don't have time to beat the mainline they don't have time to beat the the spin-off games they just have time to focus on one game at a time which is totally understandable I really only like to play one game at a time, like one story game at a time, just because I feel like if I play three story style games at one time, I just get burnt out. So I think focusing on one game is a pretty reasonable reason to not buy spinoffs, even though I would love more Pokemon spinoffs, to be honest. I mean, I'm all for it, but that's just the majority of the people out there. That's why there hasn't been a Ranger game in so long. The Pokemon company is also really smart with their releases, and Nintendo, as everyone knows, is a very protective company. So I think they made a wise choice to not actually make a Pokemon Ranger game within the last 14 years. Well, I do think that it would have actually sold well on the 3DS. I'm surprised there wasn't one on the 3DS, because the 3DS still had really, really good sales, and it's a, still a DS, you know at its heart so i'm surprised we didn't get one there but just because the wii u didn't sell well and the switch having a different gimmick than the ds and the touchscreen stuff they have to do something different with the pokemon ranger franchise and they also don't want their fans to get pokemon fatigue leading to less sales as a whole in the future some spin-offs can be great though like i'm not saying spin-offs are awful like pokemon go is probably the most popular spin-off of all time like pokemon go is still huge i really missed 2016 though when when it came out that was a great summer man dang pokemon go all summer it was awesome pokemon unite still has a huge following behind it pokemon snap was a very successful one personally though i can definitely see a pokemon ranger doing extremely well in the modern day just because it's been so long since the last release that it would there would be a lot of hype about it being released because pokemon snap had a lot of hype because the first one came out in on the n64 i don't know exactly what year that came out it was so long between the first and second pokemon snap i actually think there was a second pokemon snap but i don't i don't know i think there were two of them on the n64 i can't remember but anyways my point is there was such a huge gap in time between 
the original Pokemon Snaps and the new one that came out on the Switch just a few years ago that there was a lot of hype and it sold pretty well. So I think people would be really, really hyped about a new Pokemon Ranger game. The community is only growing with that franchise or series. So with all that being said, I could say that it's a possibility. There's definitely a possibility that we'll get a Ranger game in the future. I wouldn't get your hopes up though. They've never said anything about it, to my knowledge. Like, I, I looked online, I couldn't find anything about anyone within the Pokemon company or Nintendo talking about a Ranger game coming out. But if they were to release a new Ranger game, the gimmick would have to be different. It would have 100% have to be a different gimmick, which is fine. I think that's fine. You know, I think in the modern day, the touchscreen reliance is just a, an older gimmick. You know what I mean? It, the time has kind of passed for the touchscreen stuff just because it's so, everything relies on being docked or being on the TV, right? So I hope we get a Ranger game in the future, whether it's on the Switch or the next Nintendo console, which will probably be released in the next like two years. I really hope for another Ranger game. Let me know what you guys think. Would you want to see another Pokemon Ranger game? How about a mystery dungeon game? I'd love to see your comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.